and in business COVID-19, an outbreak which started out in Wuhan, China in December 2019, has left most parts of the world in a shutdown and businesses have gravely been affected. In Nigeria, businesses, restaurants and the stock market, amongst others, are left with no other option but to work virtually. I am now joined by Andrew Nevin. He is a partner at PricewaterhouseCoopers who will be speaking on the impacts of COVID-19 on the economy. Andrew, thank you for joining me. Uh, given that Africa contributes about 3% to global GDP, what would be the potential impact of the COVID-19 outbreak on our economy? Well, I think at this stage it's very difficult to predict the economic impact on Africa of the COVID-19 crisis. One of the main features of this crisis from an economic perspective is that economists have underestimated the impact at every stage. So when it first started in China, people said Chinese growth might reduce from 6% to 4%. When it came to Europe, people said that maybe we'd have no growth. When it came to the United States, it would reduce growth to 1%. But what we've seen, in fact, is we're now in a recession around the world. And we've seen the disease move from country to country to country, and now, of course, in Africa and Nigeria. So I think that what we should do in preparation is we need to make sure that we can survive in all economic scenarios. We don't know how long this will last. We don't know how severe the economic shocks are going to be. And we need to get prepared now to make sure that regardless of how severe it is, both as a society and as an economy, we get through this. I know that the IMF has also downplayed our economic growth for the year. However, how prepared would you say Nigeria is for a possible recession if the worst comes to play? I think we're all aware that as we come into this economic recession, we're not very well prepared in Nigeria. In 2016, at least, we had a uh, little better buffers in terms of our sovereign wealth fund, a little bigger buffers in terms of our um, uh, for FX exchange of the CBN. Both of those are very low right now. So that said, we know already from the impact of the um, uh, Corona-19 virus that the economic impact is severe and that we've had a drop in oil price below $30, which means a severe impact on the revenue flow to the federal government and to the states. I think what's going to happen on this is already we've seen it's going to force some decisions that maybe the country was not prepared to make. We've already seen a movement of the exchange rate to 380, a movement of the official exchange rate, if I understand correctly, to 360. So that change was inevitable in this. But all of the things the government spends money on are going to have to be rethought, whether it's subsidy programs, whether it's the, what the capital spending is, um, what um, infrastructure projects they take on. I think the one thing, though, that's critical is that regardless of how we approach it, we need to continue to invest in people in Nigeria, which means health care and education have to come first. All right. And we know that earlier in the year we were celebrating the fact that the uh, budget was, uh, was approved early enough. But however, we also know that the, the federal government has a projected revenue for us. But with the businesses that have shut down so far, what would you suggest, uh, how do you suggest that we should recall or review, you know, the budget in terms of, you know, addressing the current realities? Well, businesses in Nigeria are already feeling the impact of COVID-19. And of course, we've only just started in this economic crisis. But of course, businesses are resilient. So it's not like they sit there and do nothing when there's a change in circumstances. All of the clients that PwC deals with, for example, are already doing planning. They're looking at a range of scenarios. They're thinking through how to um, restructure and uh, rethink their business to make sure that they come through this period. I think what's critical for the economy, though, is we really focus on being able to source things in Nigeria because uh, up till now we've imported uh, so many different things that could be produced in the country. And I think this crisis, economic crisis, will really uh, drive a diversification as people realize it's not just about money, it's all also about the safety of supply. So I think businesses need to focus first, of course, on the human aspect and what people are doing in Nigeria. And then in terms of their business, need to take those concrete steps to make sure that they can get through this difficult period. All right, thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you very much. Uh, still ahead on Plus TV African News is our roundup on entertainment and sports. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 